literally feel like I'm on top of the world. All right, time to fly the drone. Enjoy the shots. <laughs> Just woke up 20 minutes ago and we're going to the Kalonk. 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 Lena, how do you pronounce it? Kalonk. What I would say? Kalonk. I would say we're going because it's a, whoa, 109 degrees today, Max. Schools are closed, government emergency, everybody's out of here. Watch out for the wild boars. Voilà. So Can you. You say that? It's 109 degrees in X. So we're escaping and going to somewhere a little bit cooler. Look at that. Literally the prettiest thing in the world. Oh my god. That's the path we're following. What? Red in the white. Continue it. Also, stick around to the end because this video is going to be full of awesome drone shots that you don't want to miss because this is literally one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. Oh. <laughs> it's starting to get steep. I'm dying, my knees hurt. Yeah, look at this, look where we're going. Cross country runner grind, you know, not even tired on the hill. <sighs> Just kidding. Wait, turn around. Holy cow. Oh my god, look at that. Tab! <laughs> <laughs> Incoming view. Attention. Oh heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Up here. We gotta go find a spot over there because this is just crowded. Over here. Fire pit. How did the water feel, you know? Um, he offered the help. Now I'm sticky though. Salty. Yeah. Oh my god, I have The water is very salty. I feel like it made us float, so it's hard to like get down. There's a bunch of cool fish in the water. Oh I bet. And as you guys can see, I got a haircut, so I look like a chicken. And that's just gonna be okay. Yeah, you might wanna part that a little bit. Oh! oh, what's up, bro? This bee just landed here. It's a big Probably bee. Big hey, boy. Hey, big bee. Woo! <laughs> look at him, he's huge. Oh, he is big. Oh, he's a real pretty one. He's a bumblebee. Oh, he's gorgeous. Drop a like to save the bees. Yeah, yeah. I'll pick it up and give it to her. No. I'm not going to do this. This one doesn't stink. He's nice. He's coming for you, Lena. Lena, he, it's all my backpack. Lena, Lena, he doesn't Lena. sting. Oh, damn, they don't sting. He doesn't sting. Mega oh. neck. Lena, what are you doing? Look at you. <laughs> Roaster. He got a hermit crab. What's his name? His name is Hermie. Hermie? I'm gonna eat it. See, I'm just gonna go like back it, and forth. <gasps> it's okay. It's mouth is blue. Oh, that's creepy. What are you doing? It's like a red tongue. Eat it. <laughs> Lean it up. <laughs> that's, that's vitamins. Whoa! Yeah. Adios. There's the beach, and now I'm just gonna continue up. I think this is kind of like a path. Not really sure. Don't really know where I'm going either. Just up in a way. Look at that. 
Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Would you look at that? It goes down super far. Oh, oh my god. If I fall, I kind of get it on video, maybe. All right, we're gonna continue onwards and kind of see what we have going on over there. You never know what exploring leads to. Oh wow, that's so cool. There's like a haze kind of mist over here. It's just so cool looking. kids. Alright, so it looks like there's a path here. Looks like it goes through there. Oh. Alright, so this plot of land is so cool. Look at this, there's like a few trees, and basically right here there's just like flatness. Imagine building a house here. Oh my god. Alright, so the dream would be to build a house right here. Look at this, it's like the perfect flat enough-ish plot of land. Beautiful view on this side. Look at that. And then since it's a house, you'd probably be a little bit higher up, second story or whatnot. And then you get a view of this Kalonk right here it's like literally the perfect spot look at this 360 view ah, wow oh my god I'm so excited all right so right now I'm gonna continue upwards don't really know where I'm going yet again up here I think is a good idea so I'm gonna get drone shots of this area without being too close to it all right I actually changed my mind having a house up here would be a thousand times more cool you're even higher up. Ah! Oh, oh my God! Oh, being in like places with like just immense amounts of beauty is just like a weird feeling. It just makes you feel super happy, but at the same time, like you don't know what to do with the feeling because it's just pretty. It's like, what do you do? Stare at it? I don't know, but I hope I can just like share that with you guys and that you can also feel happy and just. Enjoy this beauty. So I don't know what else to do with it. That's why I'm making this video. Sharing the beauty with you guys. Sharing the experiences I'm fortunate to have. All right, now I double changed my mind. Imagine having like a neighborhood here with all your best friends and all having like a little fun house here. Because once you get to the top here, you basically have an aerial view of everything. And imagine having like a zip line down, all the way down to the Kalong. Looky here. So I found a path. So that's good news, and we're gonna take it to what I think is the edge over here. You can see the water down there. Yeah, hopefully this leads to a cool drone flying spot. Oh yeah. That was super nerve wracking. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Got my mark on top.
you go to like such a beautiful place and you really break it down you're like yeah it's just beauty like what is it actually doing it's just like something you're looking at I don't know it's hard to explain it's almost like dating a really pretty pretty girl but if she doesn't have personality and I guess for me making videos of the places and sharing it kind of gives personality to the looks and the beauty of it otherwise for me you just be beauty it helps me enjoy the experience more being able to share it or else it would make me feel super small and like I'm not doing anything worthwhile with my experiences I don't know I think it makes it a lot more special meaningful that I'm able to share it with people all around the world and so yeah it makes me feel content and it makes me enjoy it a lot much more because otherwise I'm just going around seeing pretty places and what does that actually mean you know what I mean I don't know, I feel like it doesn't have value if I'm just keeping it to myself in the same way. And yeah, so I'm thanking you guys because you make it fun for me. Because I know I'm not going on this hike alone right now. I'm going to hike with probably the thousand people who watch this video. If you think about it that way, it's a lot more fun and exciting. It just allows me to enjoy it a lot more in a different, more meaningful way. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like something weird about the echoes up here or like the rocks, or I don't know what it is, but I can like hear conversations from down there. Not perfectly, but like, it sounds like they would be just like 20, 30 feet over people down there. Super interesting. If anyone knows the science behind that, definitely let me know in the comments section. Cause I'm fascinated on how easy it is to hear people. Maybe it's just Americans. Americans are so loud. When we're down at the beach, it's so funny because you know exactly who's American. Not because of the English you're speaking, but by how loud they are in, in general. Oh boy. Wow, look at the flowers. It's gonna be so hot in the car. Oh, that's true. You're gonna interview the 12 year old? Are you excited for today? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I <laughs>